Do you understand electric cars? Here's why one of France's leading car makers claims 77% of Britons don't. More than three quarters of Britons don't fully understand what electric cars are and their benefits, according to one France's biggest auto brands. Peugeot says it has surveyed 2,000 UK motorists and just 23% rated their understanding of electric vehicles, EVs, as good or excellent. While almost two in five said their knowledge about battery-powered cars is poor, or very poor, that's despite the nation's drivers facing the reality of only being able to buy a new EV from showrooms in less than seven years' time. When the 2030 ban on sales of petrol and diesel models is implemented by government, it says there are significant gaps in the British public's understanding of electric vehicles, with less than half aware that battery electric vehicles emit zero tailpipe emissions. Yet, it appears the French brand failed to ask drivers if they knew about the environmental impact of producing the batteries used to power EVs, which is one of the biggest criticisms a large number of motorists have. Why don't people understand electric cars? A surprising number of motorists who completed the poll were unaware of differences between hybrid and fully electric cars. Some 12% believe that a plug-in hybrid vehicle, PHEV, is exactly the same type of car as a battery electric vehicle, despite the former having a supplementary combustion engine and far shorter electric ranges. There also remains confusion among the wider British driving public about how long charging EVs takes. Less than a third of respondents said they knew that the latest electric models can be charged from 0 to 80 percent capacity in as little as 30 minutes. Granted they are compatible with a 100 kilowatts rapid charging devices. There is also plenty of misunderstanding around the public charging network, with 70 percent of respondents saying they find the way different providers operate to be confusing. The same percentage also finds the language surrounding power, battery capacity and efficiency difficult to understand, with only 31% aware that kilowatt-hours, kWh, is the unit used to measure battery capacity in EVs. In contrast, when asked which car powertrain they have the best understanding of, 67% cited petrol and diesel, compared to just 7% who chose electric powertrains. Clear generation gap when it comes to EV knowledge. The research also reveals that young people are more likely to think they have a strong understanding of electric vehicles, with 58% of 18 to 24-year-olds rating their knowledge as good or excellent. Meanwhile, half of those over 65 rate their understanding of electric vehicles as poor or very poor. There was also a big difference in knowledge of electric car terminology, with 46% of the younger members of the panel correctly selecting miles per kilowatt hour as the unit commonly used to measure efficiency of EVs, compared to just 20% of over 65s. However, it's important to note that fewer than half of younger drivers knowing that EV economy is measured in miles per kilowatt hour is very low, especially when you consider that most drivers will know that miles per gallon, MPG, is used to determine the efficiency of petrol and diesel models. Other differences in the age groups include exactly half of 18 to 24 year olds knowing that EV Drivers often don't have to pay for parking when charging in some UK cities. Compared to just over a quarter, 28%, of over 65s. Young people's knowledge extends to other types of electric vehicles too, with 64% aware that electric vans are eligible for a UK government grant, a fact known by just 26% of those over 65. Londoners know the most about EVs. Drivers' perceived knowledge of EVs also varies across the country, Peugeot claims. An impressive 10% of Londoners rate their understanding of electric cars as excellent, the highest of any region, whereas people in the Northeast claim to be least knowledgeable about EVs, with 53% saying their understanding is poor or very poor. The poll also quizzed drivers across the country about clean air zones, with a relatively low volume of Londoners, 79%, 
familiar with the term ultra-low emission zone, or ULEZ, despite it being introduced over four years ago and widespread. Coverage of plans to extend the £12.50 a day charging zone to every borough in the capital from the 29th of August. Less surprising is that only 45% of people from the Northeast are familiar with the term ULEZ, given that many are unlikely to drive into the capital often. Commenting on the survey findings, Adam Wood, managing director at Peugeot UK, said. Our research reveals there are still gaps in the public's understanding of electric vehicles. With many motorists unaware that EVs such as the new Peugeot E2008 offer zero tailpipe emissions and can be charged to 80% in just 30 minutes, Peugeot is one of the various mainstream car brands that has already set out its objectives and target dates to stop selling petrol and diesel cars. The French maker says that by 2025 it will have a 100% electric version of every car across its entire model range, and from 2030 will sell only EVs in the UK.